All right, that's enough of that. This video series explains in decent detail how I converted the front end of a Jeep Wrangler JK to a Land Rover Defender. Jeep Wrangler JKs and JKUs were manufactured from the years 2007 to 2018. You may also want to watch my other conversion video, which is much shorter if you don't want to watch a series, and I'll put that in the description. I did this conversion because I really like the look of Land Rover Defenders. I just wanted the better engineering, reliability, and versatility of a Jeep Wrangler. This conversion gave me what I believe is the best of both worlds. For me, a Wrangler is a much better daily driver. With a Wrangler, I can take the doors off, remove the top, and with a simple mod shown in one of my other videos, I can also fold the windshield down. And all this can be done in just a few minutes. These open air freedoms are nearly impossible on most Land Rover fenders, and you certainly can't do them in a few minutes. Nearly all Jeep Wrangler owners that I meet love this conversion, and I want to show you how I did it. But you should know that the order of my steps may not be entirely accurate, and the steps are definitely not complete. So let's talk about parts, labor, time, disassembly, and yep, we got to cut your Jeep. Okay, parts needed. Now you can hit pause anytime. I purchased these from Rovers North over in Vermont. And you can see in the lower right hand corner, I spent almost $4,000. Here's some more parts I had to buy off Amazon and other sites. I tried to put a note next to them on why I needed them. You'll need to do a lot of adjusting in this conversion. Plastic and stainless steel washers got expensive and I saved a lot of money by cutting pieces of PVC to length. Tools needed? Yeah, you need more than this, but this will get you started and gives you an idea. Time and labor. It took me over 600 hours to do the first one, second one well over 150 hours. So if you're using this video as a guide to save you some time, it's still going to take you about 300 hours. And you may need and you will end up spending as much as $10,000 to do this conversion. You might save yourself some money if you do the painting on your own. All right, bonnet versus hood. The British say bonnet. In the United States, we say hood. I use both words interchangeably throughout the video. Okay, let's get started. You need to remove the entire front of the Wrangler. This includes the hood, the flares, the side fenders, inner fenders, the bumper, the cowling, as well as the headlight mounts. And there are plenty of videos on how to do this right here on YouTube, so I'm not gonna cover it. When finished, your Wrangler JK will look like this. In order for the fender parts to fit onto the Wrangler, some parts of the Wrangler must be cut. Notice the white lines of what I had to cut on each side of the chassis. And here's a close-up view. Here's what it looks like after the cut. Yep, that's quite a hole. And you can either weld a piece of steel to cover the holes or wrap them in high-density foam insulation as I'm showing here. Right there. You're also gonna have to cut the Defender wing. And there's the dimensions of what you're gonna cut off. And here's a view of the cut from a different angle. All right, moving on to step two when you're ready. 